Hi, my name is Camilo Rodriguez. I am an independent mortgage broker and I am a member of the BC and Canadian Associations of Mortgage Brokers. I also have 10 years of experience in real estate and mortgages. And I work with most banks and financial institutions on your behalf. I do not charge any fees to my clients. Think about it, you have a professional on your site without having to pay a dime for it. I get compensated by the bank that we both choose. A couple of weeks ago, I was talking to a friend and he told me that he has become a walking economy. What? A walking economy? Yes, Camilo, I am 40 years old and my hairline is in recession. My stomach is a victim of inflation. And when I get up in the morning and I look at the mirror, I get a big depression. Listen carefully and enjoy the three best ways to save money on your mortgage. Number one, be aware of your mortgage renewal date. Most of you who got mortgages have either a 25 or a 35 year mortgage. And your mortgage and interest rate is only set up for five years. Now banks are in the business of making money. They would never recommend another bank or financial institution that had a better mortgage for you. So what do banks do? They make you wait until the last minute so you don't research other options. So here is a great idea. Let me know that your mortgage is up for renewal four to six months before your renewal date. Mortgage rates fluctuate like the stock market. When they are down, I will log you in. Now if they go up, you will be protected. If it goes down again to a lower level, I will lock you in at this rate. Let me give you an example. Using this strategy, I saved 1% on a $200,000 mortgage. That is savings of $2,000 per year over five years. My client saved $10,000. If your mortgage renewal is this year, or next year, call my office, we'll take care of you. Number two, simple is beautiful. Most of you who have mortgages have other loans as well. Car loans, Visa, MasterCard balances, lines of credit. Most likely, the interest rate on those loans would be higher than your mortgage rate. Why don't you bring them all into one low interest rate mortgage payment. Here is a good example. By combining one mortgage and five other loans, I was able to save one client $1,500 per month. If your payments or interest rate are too high, call my office. Number three, become a bank. We all know that banks make their money charging interest. Why don't you do the same? Here is a good example. I sold a duplex three years ago and the buyer asked me for a $10,000 loan. We negotiated the terms and we agreed on a 10% interest rate. So I've been receiving payments every month for the last three years. So my investment is safe and secure by a property that I can touch. And what I like is that I don't have to be worried about the stock market going up and down. It's 10% period. You can use RSPs, term deposits, yeah. or any money that you have in your bank account. For more information, call my office.